Here's Zion after the game. It's been a long journey. Um, would I have liked the journey to have gone like that? Absolutely not. I wish I could have played every game. But at the end of the day, I'm still grateful that I went through that. Because I... It helped me realize a lot mentally, spiritually, and just uh, growing as a man. So for me to, f to finally hit 100 games, uh, I didn't even think about it, but uh, that is a big milestone because this journey has been, I think, this is, I'm on three coaches. Uh, this is the first year where the locker room has looked somewhat the same players-wise. Um, so the uh, thing I can take away from that is it's just good to kind of have steady people around me now. So when Zion and I sat down at the beginning of the season, he shared a similar sentiment with me. He told me that everything that he's been through, it, it's culminated in this new appreciation for the game. But he added that he'd be lying if he said he'd be satisfied with anything less than a championship. But if, if he keeps playing like this, that certainly could be in the cards because Zion has piled up the points during his first 100 games, scoring 2,524 of them. That's the most points by a player through 100 games since Michael Jordan in the mid 80s. And Zion has scored almost 1,900 of those points in the paint. The only player to do that in any 100-game span over the last 25 seasons is Shaquille O'Neal. And Zion played in his 100th game 1,257 days after being drafted. John Morant, who of course went the pick after Zion, has played over twice as many games. Kevon Looney, he played over 100 games last season alone. So there, there's a lot to digest here. There's also so many good moments for Zion that it's hard to narrow it down. But we, we tried to take a look at what we think makes the cut as the top five plays of his Ooh, career. I'm excited today. for this. So number five here. This is 2020. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's not even volleyball. <laughs> like that's out of bounds twice over. I mean, heck of a spike on that one. And it's with the left. People don't understand how hard it is to use, like, coordinate a midair shot. Oh, well, I couldn't left. do it with the right. So then January 17th, 2021, Ooh. just a ferocious. So I told you before dunk. about that rip through, but the counter move is right there. The rip through, jab, cross, dunk, special T by one Zion. Oh, yes. I love the reaction. reaction. <laughs> it's so good. All right, and then March 2020 now, you have Lonzo Ball. Watch him here. Throws oh, a yeah. deep. Alley hoop to Zion and fast forward about 90 seconds and guess what? what? Oh my goodness. Spoiler alert, they do it again. Bam! That's just that's just like running the sidelines the way you like run the football as like a tight end or a receiver. And then you have February 2020. Giannis, Zion rips the board away and draws the foul on the what, what is the level of difficulty on that? Um, near impossible because he's like Giannis is the one player that you could probably never outwill on a possession, but right. Zion did it right there. Okay, and then number one, it was the debut. Zion against the Spurs catches fire from the outside, four of four from three, 22 points for Williamson in this one. How'd Look, go to me, that? he was the representation of the new age of basketball star, right. superstar in making, and he's delivered so far in 100 games. And we get to see even more of, you know, knock on wood that he continues to stay healthy because he's been so much fun to watch this year. So those are the best plays of Zion's first 100 games. If you've been paying attention, though, to Pelican's post-game press conferences, you might have seen this. Uh, he gives a grade for himself at times when a reporter asks, well, what would you grade yourself? And he gives them a couple times. So I, I want to ask all of you, Zach, since you actually were a teacher, you have actually handed out grades. Uh, <laughs> but I I'm going to start with the host of Cheat Sheet Act. Oh. What, what grade are you going to give? Okay. I think Zach might be a hard grader. That's what I think. Before we go to the history teacher, I'm going to give an A-. minus. Because okay. when he's been out there, he's been really dominant. And if you think about it, he's on pace this year for 61.5 games played because I believe he's only missed five. He's played in 15. That means total 20, which means pace for 60. That's the mathematics. I know we're going to history in a sec. So I would give an A minus just because when he's out there, he upgrades this team so much. They already have a tremendous foundation. We all know the Pelicans are someone, like I said, the Pacers are sneaky good. This team is actually good. It's no longer a surprise. And Zion, if he's able to be out there for 60 or so games, mm. That year that he played 60 games, he was an all-star. He's in that caliber when he's available, and he's been exactly that. So Zion, we're happy that he's healthy, and yep. he's he's himself. Like, that's the one thing we ask, for him to be himself and be a professional, and he's delivered. I want to be in Miss Chanae's class, an A-minus. I like that. Perk, what do you got? Theater. Drama. 
I'm I'm going with a B. I'm going with a B plus. I mean, he's box office, right? He's delivering every time the cameras are on him. He's never failing as far as the highlights and everything else. The only knock that I have on Zion with that athleticism, that size, and that strength, I want him to be a better rebounder. Like he has to be touching double figures or more every single night. He's too strong. He's too athletic. Outside of that. He's the most dominant player right under Giannis in the game today. So I'm going to give him a B plus. All right. A minus B plus. Professor Lowe, what do you got? I'm going incomplete because oh. we have not seen <laughs> nearly everything that Zion has to give us yet. He's barely scratching the surface of what he can do. He hasn't been peak Zion yet this season. And we haven't seen that much because of all these injuries of Ingram, McCollum, mm. and Zion together. And that has scary potential, especially considering the Pelicans have a lot of draft picks to trade. So I'm going incomplete. We got a lot of untapped upside to get to. Here's to 100 games, the next 100 happening in way less time than the first 100 did. Stay healthy, Zion. See, I, I knew Professor Lowe wouldn't disappoint. Vince, what do you think of Zach's grade there? I'm, I'm with Zach, man. I'm with him. And I come from a family of all teachers as well so I understand the grading scale and my family uh, of teachers were tough on grading and I give them an incomplete for the simple fact of what Zach said and I agree there's more there's untapped waters for him and he's been great when he's on the floor want him to stay healthy and continue to dominate let's see what he does at the end of the season and he's going to get that A from me after that A minus B plus incomplete incomplete and we'll see what the next 100 games hold Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.